Hello, so uh, thank you so much for joining me on this seven day cacao workshop where it is uh, learning to really step in and build a relationship with your own heart and with the cacao and with everything, uh, but also with reverence and mindfulness. So that is the first day of this uh, course is going to be about those three things. So I'm going to start this conversation about relationship with uh, using a crystal for an example as a metaphor, right? So so here's this beautiful crystal quartz. A lot of people will go to the store and they will buy a crystal and it's like the first energy with it is, oh, this is mine. This is mine now. And I own this and it's going to work with me because I love it and I bought it and I've, I, I decided that it's mine. Um, so, so with this, uh, kind of look at this and, and apply it to all things, you know, and the most powerful thing we can do is look with deep honesty and accountability without judging and shaming ourselves for for uh, the kind of behavior because it's very unconscious across you know most of humanity and it's really powerful to be able to see it oh my god I see it and thank you for the awareness because now I can walk with wisdom and uh, choose whether I want to do that or not so it's not about shaming but it's about awareness and being being uh, ro uh, happy or uh, valuing, valuing the awareness more than if we're right or wrong, right? Or, or what we've done in the past. So, so I bought this crystal and now it's mine. <laughs> uh, crystal quartz tends to amplify things, energies, right? So I could say, okay, I'm, I'm feeling this beautiful heart energy and I want to amplify it out. I'm going to sh shoot it off into the universe. <laughs> You know, and I can have this idea of of how this is going to work for me. Uh, but in relationship, I would like to just say uh, that we could enter it in a whole different way with a whole different kind of awareness. And um, of course, I would, you know, this is to apply to our own hearts, our own bodies, our own minds. And of course, with the cacao. So we're actually going to build a relationship with the cacao. And I have all kinds of relationships with everything, right? We're actually in relationship with nature. We're in relationship with the, the grass. Some people don't like the grass. They're allergic to it. And they have this relationship that doesn't feel good, right? So uh, there's the mud and uh, there's uh, all kinds of things. I have a relationship with my tarot cards. I have a relationship with my body. So that's the second relationship I would really like to bring in right now as a really powerful uh, way to understand how relationships can be on such a personal level. So uh, a few years ago, I took a yoga teacher training course, which I highly recommend for everyone who uh, gets a yes to do that. It is such a powerful journey to take, even if you don't end up teaching. Uh, it will take you through a lot of really powerful concepts and teach alignment and all kinds of stuff and movement and how to move energy and how to balance and stay stay in our center that's what it's all about is staying in the center uh, so so in relationship through yoga with our bodies right you might do a stretch I'm just gonna like put my arm over here and uh, kind of use this arm to pull this arm back right and doing it with the breath And noticing what's going on in my mind because my mind might say oh get that arm over there you know and then I'm not listening to my body and in a great relationship I'm, I'm not trying to control my body with my mind and get frustrated if it doesn't do what I want it to do uh, what I'm doing is I'm I'm learning how to feel into my body and play the edges so I'm coming across to an edge where it gets painful and then I'm going to stop pushing. Stop pushing when it gets painful. <laughs> you know, it's such a powerful metaphor. And then breathe into it. Breathe into the stretch. 
And then of course doing the other side to keep balance for about the same amount of time. Learning how to play the edges and how to deep, deep listen to the body. The body, our bodies hold so much powerful wisdom. And same with drinking the cacao, it affects our heart big time. I mean, it has, if you go through all of the properties of the plant that I've listed in the workbook and some of the history and things like that, you'll see that it's called the food of the gods and that it has these natural uh, plant properties that actually help us open our hearts and the heart chakra, feeling love, right? Uh, so it is really powerful to um, honor that relationship and honor our body having reactions to it or responses to it and to deep listen to our body as we're cultivating this relationship and all of these relationships. Another thing about relationships that's really important is to honor yeses and nos, right? Honor the yes and the no. So if you drink the cacao and it makes you nauseous, you know, that might be a no. <laughs> For some reason, it might be a no. And you've got to listen to that and not try and uh, get angry or upset or force it. Anyways, maybe drink less. Maybe maybe figure out a way to work with it or, or set it down and hold it in your hands and have the essence of it if you want to work with it. Uh, but you could also just drink water or tea throughout this entire workshop here. It's not all just about the cacao. It's more about you opening your own heart and cultivating that relationship. Uh, so if it's a yes and the energy feels wide open and you're getting a yes, then, then yeah, do it. And, but if for some reason there's like a no somewhere, anywhere, it takes, you know, two yeses are a yes, a one yes and one no is a no. And that goes in all relationships, you know, we can't override with our mind thinking, but this is mine, right? So, so it's humbling Humbling, deep listening, honoring, and respecting the other. There's one more example I'd like to bring up, and that is with a tree. So a lot of the time we can look at a tree and think we know what it is and substitute tree for anything else, a human being, a bird, right? All of a sudden we, we see what we think we know that is. Uh, but a tree is much, you know, grander than we could possibly imagine. It's an entire life force system that is beyond anything we can really comprehend. And it can sense, you know, these plants around us can sense our energy. It's they have awareness of us. And I think that's a really big realization uh, that you can expand across the board on all levels is that you know, awareness of the other. So when we go up to a tree, uh, we can share our energy with that tree and then also realize that that tree is aware of, of us and it's sharing its energy with us. And um, with this perception, man, many people are already doing this, but the people who are not, uh, you can actually create a relationship with a tree that's that uh, brings in... Uh, amazing feelings of of joy and connection and beauty you know same with animals uh, uh, any type of life force really I think has that potential of of connection and yeah so thanks again for joining me here in this workshop I am so excited to work with you and to inspire this connection with cacao in your own heart and mind and uh, all the people in your life and everything including the moon <laughs> and the sun <laughs> and so much love thank you